if you have watched my video on Hedit Numis conjecture, you must have an idea about graphs. It's basically a set of points interconnected by lines with each other. The conjecture we are talking about states that complete graphs are made up of repeating trees. Or in other words, complicated graphs are made up of simple ones. It's called Ringel's conjecture, which had been unsolved for about 60 years. The conjecture deals with graphs which have odd number of vertices and all of them are connected among each other. Now coming to trees. These are graphs with no closed loops in them. Now the question is, what is the relation between a complete graph and a tree? It is conjectured that complete graphs with 2n plus 1 nodes in them can be covered by trees with n plus 1 nodes if we repeat them. Or in other words, a complete graph with 2n plus 1 nodes is made up of trees with n plus 1 nodes of the same type. If we think about an approach, we can take this graph for an example. It's symmetrical. This is called a star. We can simply put the converging vertex of the star on any one of the vertex of the complete graph and keep rotating it. But we require all kinds of graph and not only a star. However, Anton Kodzik said that the same process of placing and rotating is valid for all trees. Might seem crazy and impossible now. However, there is an elegant approach. Color coding. It really makes our life much easier. Consider a complete graph with 11 nodes. We need to color the edges in a very specific way considering the distances between two nodes. Consider one edge length to be a particular unit. Color every one unit with a specific color. Now let's come to two unit. Don't take the shortcut, rather color the shortcut with a different color. Continue this and you will get a beautiful picture like this. For a complete graph of 11 nodes, we need a tree or, uh, with 6 nodes. Now let's come to packing. Um, in other words, in how many ways or uh, how we can place the trees in uh, the complete graph. Keep one edge of the tree on an edge of the complete graph, then keep the rest one. This process can be simple for certain trees like um, this and this, but this might create problems. This is an irregular star with inflexible edges. For this case, one strategy that can work is taking out the point of convergence, placing it randomly and then placing the other vertices. The thing to note is, no two edges of the tree must be of the same color. In this way, we are not proving that every tree with n plus 1 nodes can be represented like this or as it said can have a rainbow copy, but it's proved that a rainbow copy has to be present in the complete graph and if it's present, the process of placing and rotating can be performed, which hence proves the conjecture.